Hi, my name is Paweł Spechalski and maybe, I hope so at least, I hope so. Some of you remember that the last year I was building my own uh, do-it-yourself open source long-range radio system called the Quad Me Up Cross, yeah, Crossbow. It was based on the SX1276 uh, LoRa modules uh, connected by the manufacturer to something like this, which is called LoRa 32U4 2. I'd never seen one, but let's say this is two. This is the fully Arduino AW AVR compatible uh, development board with the LoRa module you see over here. The CPU, this is Atmega 32U4. And very, 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 very good thing, this thing has the integrated battery circuit so you just plug in the battery it charges from the from the usb port kind of nice kind of nice i had some success with this system i achieved the more than one kilometer stable flight without any problems it the, it had the possibility to bind it had the possibility to uh sent how many 12 channels i think it was pretty stable in the year but i kind of got into problems with those boards because this is only at mega 32 u4 it lacks uh, ram uh, it lacks flash it lacks processing power i was struggling to get the telemetry to fully interact with the with the open tx radio so bottom line i have the fr sky r9 so i really had no need i kind of abandoned the project but now i'm going back and i'm going back in a slightly different different way because let's have a scenario you are on the airfield happy flying your model airplane you're happy everything is super great but one out of nowhere suddenly the something wrong happens and you have broken this kilometer away, two kilometer away, or you even have no idea what the heck your model is because you were flying behind trees and yeah, you have to go to search for the poor bastard and it takes time and you have to look for it. It was really a long flight over the forest. It's somewhere a nightmare, a nightmare, a nightmare. There are some few ways to help you do it. For example, if you have the telemetry downlink on your radio store, maybe you have this, but if the battery is disconnected, maybe you don't, maybe a DVR footage, maybe someone can fly over the field to help you locate this. It's, it's, it's doable, but it's kind of complicated. Um, one of the best options, probably the best options, is some kind of a radio beacon that will transmit the GPS coordinates where the model is currently right now. There is the T beacon, there is something based on the Orange Onyx, no, this is also T beacon. Okay, there are ways, but I decided to build my own way. My own way will be this and this. What is? It's the same board as before. On the bottom of the board you have the LiPo glued together, you have the small Batian BN180 GPS module. Antenna, a piece of wire later, it will be just probably a spring antenna. You connect the battery to the bloody bastard. It starts to work. Oh, it's beeping. You see the, the flashing, the GPS is flashing. And as soon as the GPS unit will get the fix, it will start transmitting the coordinates on the LoRa 868 megahertz. It, it, it can be configurable. And, uh, and yeah, this is the standalone mode in which the board uses the GPS, its own GPS. It will be also possible to tether this to the flight controller, get the GPS coordinates from the flight controller or connecting parallel to the main GPS. Many, many possibilities. This is for a beacon on an airplane, relatively small weights, only 17 grams. And the battery should start for uh, at least a few hours, probably around three hours of operation, even after the main battery disconnect and the flight controller loses power. 
a lot of time to get the signal. And because you need only one ping from this device after it crashed, it, it, it can die if you are able to receive the signal. And this will be the receiver. Receiver will be slightly better design, stronger design. It will also have the GPS to get your current position. Two buttons and this is the also LoRa board, but this is the TTDO LoRa 32, which is ESP32 based. How is this, this will work? This board will be transmitting its location and uh, if you crash, if the, it will transmit the last known location anywhere. If this thing will be able to get the radio signal from this device, then it will show you the distance because it knows its own location and this thing's location. It will show you the distance or more or less the direction in which you have to go to get to your board. So it displays 20 meters the model or at least this thing is in the radius of 20 meters around you. Hopefully this will be fully enough to, to locate your model either after the battery disconnected, FC died and it crashed beyond recovery. And the LoRa has pretty nice range, so even at low power, like 10 milliwatts transmitted every like few minutes, this thing should be able to pick it up from at least few hundred meters and maybe some directional antenna. I do not, I cannot really show you anything about the, the, the locator unit because it right now, well, I finished the hardware today and it's only a prototype, but it has a huge battery on the back. Oh, by the way, those are also pretty cool um, development boards, those TTGO LoRa 32V2 because they have integrated OLED, they have it's ESP32, there's a the Wi-Fi, there's a Bluetooth, there's a LoRa module, there's an integrated battery circuit, it can charge battery, it has a physical switch between kind of really cool. USB 1 uh, reset, I think this is the reset button. And uh, what else? Oh, SD card slot. I don't know if I will use SD card slot, but if I want to, I can. Fully doable at home without much knowledge. The code, of course, will be open source. I'm not yet pointing you to the correct repositories on GitHub because it's not there yet. I just started. This thing is only more or less operational. This thing not. And uh, this thing also will be able to work with different transmitters. Uh, kind of let We will see where I will go with this. I will let you know when I will finish something about this when, like always, I really should stop starting, start finishing. But I'm really for the next around uh, three weeks, I really intend to put some effort into it to at least be able to really transmit coordinates from this device to this device and display the distance and maybe possible uh, direction. It has no magnetometer, so it will be able to catch your direction, your pointing on even walking, but I will figure something out. And uh, yeah, that's all for today. Bye.